Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix Photo G Forbidden Error on Google Chrome. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're having this issue where in for forward tree forbidden is as showing in your PC and you're unable to fix this one, well we have three methods for you. Now for the first method is we'll have to use command prompt. So in this case, you want to go to the lower left of your screen and just type in command prompt. And from here, just don't just don't click on it. Just right click on it and you make sure you have to run this ad as administrator because when we run this ad as administrator it's going to allow a few settings that we should be running here now in this case you want to go ahead and open it up and you want to type in the first code here or a script so go ahead and type in the following which is going to be ip config space slash flash dns so once you've typed that out just press on enter it's going to say windows ip configuration successfully flush the dns your silver cache now once you've done that the next thing you want to type here is going to be the following which is going to be net sh when sock reset what i said before you need administrator access for you to run this specific thing this press just press on enter it's going to say successfully reset to in sock catalog now in here it's going to say you must restart your computer in order to complete your reset now in this case go ahead and restart your pc and check if that solves the issue now if that doesn't solve your issue the next thing that you could do here is go to your control panel so go to the top lower left of your screen just type in control panel go ahead and open it up and from here you want to look for the uh, uh, internet connections so go to category here so change this to category and you want to go to network and internet and from here you want to go ahead and click on network sharing center now in here you want to go ahead and select your internet connection go to internet and from here you want to go to properties now under properties you should look for ipv4 and from here go to properties now in this case since you are if you haven't changed anything in your internet properties here for ipv4 it's usually going to be selected as obtain the dns server address automatically so what we need to do here is we want to change this to use the following dns server addresses so in this case it will be using the google dns so this is google's dns so it's going to be 8888 for preferred dns server and alternate dns server is going to be 8844 now once you've entered it just click on ok close close and just exit this one and check if that solves your issue now if that doesn't solve your issue our final method here is accessing the settings for google chrome itself so at the top right just click on the tree dotted icon and from here you want to go ahead and click on settings now under settings you want to go to privacy and security and under privacy and security go ahead and click on site settings now from here you want to click on view permissions and data stored across sites and from here what you need to do is just click on the button at the top right that says delete all data now from here it's going to notify you that you'll be signed out of all of these sites including in open tabs and any offline data will be deleted so we'll be deleting information about site series so if you are really sure and this is your final thing that you could try for you to resolve this issue you could go ahead just click on delete but be warned about the consequences of deleting this one so it means that any offline data will be deleted as well as your login info or also or will also be logged out of those sites but yeah so once you cl click on delete see if that solves your issue and that's about it so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.